Shabam! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Python tutorial. I'm Root of the Null. I'm going to be your guide to the internet. And we are still looking at N curses, curses, and unicurses all wrapped up in Python. Now, in the last video, we changed all of our unicurses code into curses code. And I'm going to be introducing an, a reason, or at least some motive, for why you might ever want to do that very, very soon. But before we jump into that, I'm going to kind of preface it because I'm going to have to show you this or at least the idea of this before we move into why you may or may not want to use curses and unicurses. So, uh, this is one real big thing that I have nonstop been talking about. It's probably very irritating, but hey, let's just jump right into it. I do want to warn you, though, to probably keep track of a folder that is your curses code and then another separate folder for which is your unicurses code. Now, in all honesty, I probably should have warned you before we went into the whole other video, just last video where we rewrote everything, but honestly, I think this is an okay thing because this way you get to test um, whether or not you remember the syntax and all the names of all the functions and the way you'd set up the variables and that sort of thing. So. Okay, boom, enough of me talking. We're going to get into this one, this video, and I'm going to show you guys rooms. Or at least the idea of a room. Obviously, it's just going to be a square because we're working in end curses. We have this sort of like top down game idea. So, if we just wanted to create a box, and let's say our player can move in and out of that box, it's almost like a carpet or like an area of grass. That's all we need. We're just going to create a room. It's essentially a background. So it's very, very simple. It's very, very easy. Um, I'm just going to make things easy and just create a new file. Uh, this is going to be a class. So I'll save this inside of my curses file as room.python. Now, easy enough, what I'm going to do is import curses. And I'm going to get the functions in case we need them, which we will. Okay, so my class name, it's a room. Easy as that. We obviously need a constructor. You guys know how to set up all this, right? Because, I mean, you watched my Python programming tutorials and you got into object-oriented stuff. You're a good, good person. When you're in jail, serving a life sentence for murdering a person, just think back to yourself. Dude, Root told me that I'm a good person. What's up with that? All right, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. For our constructor, we want some arguments. Now, we're going to need to know the coordinates, the position of where our room is going to be. So let's say X and Y, obviously. Because we're defining this constructor, we don't actually have to use the like N cursor standard to use like Y and then X. We can set this up however we want it to be. So I'm going to go with X and Y, because that's kind of normal, you know? <laughs> All right, now we need to know the width and the height. W and H, blah blah blah, and let's say let's say we need a character, the character that represents the um, the background screen. Like let's say we wanted a period all over the box, so it looks like maybe this is carpet or something, or like lots of different tildes, so it looks like this is water and like waves. I don't care. It's any character. So character, and I'm gonna make this optional. Right now it's gonna be a space, and we're gonna want some color in here. So foreground that'll equal none by default and background. That can equal none by default. And we'll even throw in an attribute. Now by default our attribute will be zero because we can't use none, we have to use an integer. Alright, so you guys know how to do all this. Self.window, it's going to be our new window with our height, our width, our y, and our x. Self.panel, easy enough, new panel. Actually we do need to include the panel area here, curses.panel, import everything, self.window, and of course our character and um, our character and attribute obviously need to be what we've passed into the function. So self.character can go ahead and equal the character, and this can be the same for the attribute. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, cool. We're finally all set. Now let's go ahead and create the background. You guys know how to do this. We created a background function, or at least we've been using the background function. Now remember, in curses, we have to apply this to the object of the window. So, background, and we can use our character, and we can use our attribute. And we're going to actually set up a function to go ahead and set the colors, like we did in our player. So, self.foreground. 
very, very easy. We're just setting stuff up to be the specific parameters that we passed in. And the color, or the number that we're going to use to actually represent or the identify what our color is, we're going to set that to equal zero. Here's where we test if we actually have a foreground or not. If it's not equal to none, what we're going to do is go ahead and set the colors. Now we're going to have to create this function, but you've practically already done it with our um, player object, so we're good to go. And then we'll go ahead and show the changes which is another function we're going to have to write, but again, you've practically done, done all this already. Very, very easy. All we're doing is creating an object for the idea of a room or a window on your screen in NCURSUS. Now we're going to change our color variable and we're going to use our um, make color function that we've already defined in our functions a script or that little library and module that we have set up for ourselves and then let's say self dot foreground is going to equal whatever we've changed it to I'm actually just going to copy and paste this from up here and we're going to want to change the background of the window of course da -da -da -da. self dot character and here's where we're going to add in the color. So color pair, self.color, and self.attribute along with it. Cool. Now we'll go ahead and show the changes. And now we'll finally define that show changes function. You guys know how to do this. Update panels and go ahead and do update. Very, very easy, very, very simple. Okay, cool. Now let's go back to our um, our main script here. I'm going to go ahead and import rum. And now, before I create a player, I'll say object rum can equal rum. Let's start it at 2 pixels to the left, sorry, two pixels to the right, three pixels down. It can be um, 30 characters wide, let's say, um, 10 characters down. It can be color, mm, what do I want it to be, green? Actually, yeah, color green. Color yellow should be the foreground, I'm thinking, and then color green can be the background, so it'll almost look like grass. And I think the character becomes comes before that, so that can be a period. And let's say a bold can be our attribute. Okay, does that look good? We've got our room set up. And um, that should be all we have to do, I think. Let's take a look at it. I'm in my curses folder here. We can see my room right there. Let's run the main script. And boom! We've got it. Okay, cool. So there's our little uh, room here. Our player can move around, it can walk in and on top of it, that sort of thing. But you'll notice, if I were able to zoom in, way the crap in there, our player right there, he's got this black background that's kind of always been there because he's been on the black background screen. Now, in the next video, I'm going to get into how we can fix this in Curses and how we can't fix this in Unicurses. <laughs> All right, so that's a whole other thing. I'm very interested and excited to be talking about that one. But this is it, guys. This is your room. There it is. We just created a room. It can be um, anything. Let's say color um, black and then color blue. And it can have like a, a tilde here. Let's make it maybe 20 characters. Run it one more time. Now we've got water everywhere, or at least what might look like water, and okay, there it is. Very, very simple. All it is is a window, but we've just made it easier to work with because we've created it as an object and as a class. So we can actually create things very, very simple and very, very easy. Okay, <laughs> I've talked way too much this tutorial already, 
very simple idea. I know you guys know how to implement it. It was just a matter of getting it done. So, thanks for watching. I'm excited to move into the next tutorial. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this because it's going to be uh, a fun route. A fun, fun ride from here on out. <laughs> Alright, thank you again guys and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.